have you ever wondered why sometimes even though we are told to believe affirm things we don't see them happen have you ever wondered why that is that is what we are going to be talking about today remember from last week i told us that we are going to expatiate on one of the keys to unlocking the powers of the mind that is where we are going to oh that's what we're going to discuss today okay so um before i go on i have an announcement to make um i know if you look at my if you look at the name of this channel you see that it has changed i'm very sorry that i did not preempt us um before the last video i was supposed to mention it there before it was changed how to how to g has been changed to the power woman so that's the name of our channel right now however how to heart with g has not completely gone away we'll still be um chatting or doing heart to heart with g but um the heart to heart talks will now be on thursdays right okay so these are the things i want to let us know before i go into today's video proper and i want to welcome you once again my most valuable subscribers if you are if this is your first time here you are highly welcome and um thank you for joining in thank you thank you for joining in please don't forget to subscribe like comment please your comment is very very important okay so i'm not going to dwell on this today we are going to be talking about manifesting through the through the subconscious or through your subconscious remember this is a series about the mind and i said the mind is a powerhouse and i believe i'm trying i'm getting you there to know how the mind is a powerhouse okay and for today's today's session i'm very excited about today's episode i really can't explain it i really can't explain it but i feel someone is about to break forth and get liberated yeah but before we go forward i'll advise you to watch part one and part two here yeah a tone is a foundation of everything we are talking about if you really want to understand and utilize your mind to its fullest you you cannot miss part one so please click the link here and watch part one and secondly for you to understand where why we are where we are today please watch part two here okay look this is the link click here watch it because what we are discussing today is one of the keys to unlocking the power of your mind and we talked about different keys okay that is if you haven't watched them they will help you understand and implement today's um discussion better all right you can also see the links in the description below now the power of imagination is one of the keys to unlocking the power of your mind and i said something last week i said that your imagination okay how how big or how wide you can imagine determines how far you can stretch your mind all right so and um, i told us we are going to go deeper into this topic today because when you imagine things you visualize you dream about it all right sometimes we use you we dream about excuse me we dream about things we imagine things and it does not happen but i have there's something i always say okay i say that if you can think it you can do it you can be it that anything you can think or imagine in your heart or in your mind or in your thoughts can actually be made possible and that is what we are going to talk about today manifesting through your subconscious manifesting simply means bringing to reality what ought to be is a process not a destination how can this be you see <laughs> you may ask i love the bible so much like i said it is my foundational book it is my source my first source and it is my go-to place if i need inspiration if i need um certain things i want to do i go there and i pick them up okay there that is for me okay i don't know about you but that is for me that is where i get that is my source okay so i cannot talk about manifesting today 
without talking about the Bible because the principles that helped me, the things that helped me manifest and be where I am today is because of what I got from the pages of this holy book. And many of us read it without understanding. Many of us don't even read it and we, we just um, pass judgments on it anyhow. Anyway, that's not what we are talking about today. One of the astounding scriptures about manifesting that has helped me is with the heart one believes and with the mouth confession is made. Now, confession, you, you confess with your mouth. I'm paraphrasing it. I'm not quoting it the way it says, okay? With the heart, one believes. With the mouth, one confesses. Okay, now there is a sequence. You believe in your heart. That is sowing the seed in your mind. Then you confess with your mouth. That is another form of seed sowing. That is why I said, go back to the first, the very first video or very first um, part of this, of this, um, episode on the mind on the power of the mind to understand what i talk about sowing the seed in your mind okay so when you believe when you believe that means you have given your mind something to work your subconscious something to work on you whatever you believe in that is the the conscious the subconscious carries it i don't know if i mentioned last week that our subconscious whatever happens to us is attributed to 95% of our subconscious. Though 5% is our conscious, is part of, is from our conscious, but we need to be deliberate and intentional on what we do with that 5% because it's going to make up for the 95% the subconscious will be displaying most of the time. You cannot confess what you do not believe. I'll take that again. You cannot confess what you do not believe. Confession is different from just saying something. If you say something, it's just like now, if a, if a man loves a woman, or rather, if a man comes to a woman and just says, I love you, and he does not mean it, the woman will know. Let me tell you why, because the way he will say it is different. There is no feeling attached to it. It's the same thing with confession and belief. When you believe something, the way you confess it is different and that will lead you to receiving it. Another one I like so much is speak to those things that be not as though they be. That means say what you want to see as though you are already seeing or being it. For instance, you don't say I want to be healthy. You say I am healthy. You don't say I want to be wealthy. You say, I am wealthy. You personalize it. You say it as if it is already happening. That is what your subconscious will pick. Because so your subconscious will not know, I want to. I want to. It will be waiting for you to. You want to, you want to. But when you change the way you speak and you say, I am healthy. I am healthy. Your subconscious starts working with that. I am healthy. Okay, you do not say, okay, she's healthy. She's healthy. She is healthy. Okay, another is ask and you shall receive. That is still the confession of the mouth. Ask and you shall receive. Now, when I, 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 I do um, affirmations, okay, I share affirmations. And when I share these affirmations, I always end with say it, believe it, receive it. Okay, say it, believe it, receive it. That is the that is the other I put it. But I know that if you go back to what I said earlier, I said you believe, then you see. Let me put it this way. For instance, somebody comes to you and says, say, I am blessed. Okay? You then say, I am blessed. Once you say, I am blessed, if you believe it, the way you will say it again is different. You say, I am blessed. I I'm blessed. When you believe something and you say it, it is always different. And it leads to you receiving it. Because everything around you will start working with that. I won't go deep into that because please go back to um, part one and part two. I understood the power of imagination and visualization at a very young age. 
one of the reasons I am where I am today. I saw myself here a very long time ago. I didn't know how it will happen, but I knew it will because I had seen it, I believed it, I confessed it, and it worked out. Every other thing aligned, even when it seemed impossible. You can get anything, become anything, if you so choose. You know, many of us blame the government, society, parents, and, and so on for our failures when we are the ones holding ourselves back. Stretch your mind. Stretch the capacity, stretch your mind to an unimaginable capacity and see it raise you as high. I will take that again. Stretch your mind to an unimaginable capacity and see it raise you as high. That means as, as high or as unimaginable as you can stretch the capacity of your mind, that is how high you can go. All you need to do is feed your mind with what you want to see, what you want to become and follow through. When I share affirmation, I always end with say it, believe it, receive it. The more you say things, especially the right way, like I told you, you don't say, I want to be held, healthy. You say, I am healthy. When you say things the right way, you start believing it over time. If you don't believe it immediately, you start believing it over time when you say it all the time. Okay. And when you do this, nature, creation, the universe starts aligning with you to bring it to pass. You know why? Because creation is eagerly waiting for your manifestation. So what are you still waiting for? Your mind only works within the boundaries you create. That means you are a creator. So create what you want. Create your realities. I often say, if you do not see what you want, make it. You can make anything happen once you put your mind to it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You can't have faith if you do not believe and you can't receive if you do not believe. All these happen in your mind. So what is it going to be for you? Creation is waiting for you. What is your faith like? We say these things before, I have faith. You have faith, but you do not believe it in your heart. But you do not, you do not act as if you do. So how do you want it to happen? I want to see you manifest. I want, to take, I want you to take a stand today. As you are listening to this, I want you to choose one thing, just one. One thing you want to see happen in your life. What is that thing you desire so much? In your life that you want to see that you want to see happen you can bring it to reality you can make it happen you are a creator i am a creator speak to those things that are not as though they are speak your husband to reality speak your dream job to reality and even when you are doing these things you are speaking and believing you will put in the work. You won't. <laughs> one thing I tell people: don't say, "Okay, because you want something, you won't work for it." No, don't say because you want a job, you won't prepare for the job. That is one of the things about manifestation. It has to come from within you. You really need to want it. You really need to need it. And when you do that, you speak it. You work it out. Okay. You believe it. You go to the mirror and tell yourself. I am loved. People love me. I am the preferred. Okay? You want to go for a, an interview, job interview. You tell yourself, I am qualified for this job. I am getting this job. I am the preferred. I am the best candidate. When you tell yourself these things, you see yourself feeling better. Your mind will align to it. The subconscious carries it. It starts working with it. You see that when you go, when you eventually go for this interview, you won't be intimidated because you know you are qualified. There are some people that are qualified, but they don't see themselves because they don't believe it, because they have not brought it into their reality. They, you see them being intimidated. That is why 
somebody who is good at doing something may not be getting the proceeds or the rewards of that thing but somebody else who is not as good as him or her you see the person manifesting because the person believes let me know if you if it's i would like you to if there are things that you have manifested that have manifested in your life that you believed you believed you believed for and it happened for you i'd like you to share your story or share you, you don't need to share so much okay you can just say um I, I, I looked for a job or you can just say I searched for a job for a long time, but I manifested my job through affirmations and true belief and through those type of things. For instance, the job I'm doing now, the job I'm doing now, I did not even apply. I did not apply. I just, I went for, <laughs> I went for job interviews. In fact, I searched for a job for two years. I didn't get, but I kept professing confessing that my dream job i will get my job that the right job for me is out there and it will locate me and it did it did and it was in fact the, let me let me conclude with this let me i think this is one of the very good examples of manifesting the job i have now job i do i didn't apply for it the ones i applied for i didn't even get okay i had limitations yes but I believed within me that I will get a job and I will get the kind of job I want. And I got it. I got it. Like I got the kind of job I wanted, I desired. And it was hassle free. I didn't prepare for the interview. Not because, um, not because I didn't want to prepare because I didn't know what to prepare for. I had been prepared. So the ones I prepared for earlier hurt me do the interview and i asked it because i was prepared i believed in fact one of the things that helped me get this job was i believed so much within me that i will get the job i believe so much within me that that job belongs to me i believe so much within me that i could do that job and i got it i didn't prepare i got the job not because no not i don't even think because I, I was really qualified there might be people that are more qualified than me but because of the mindset i had when i went for the interview the test and everything i got it in fact when i was giving the written test my time elapsed but i didn't give up i def completed it and i went to my email and sent it as an email to the recruiter and you won't believe the woman came back and said, thank you for sending this to me. So when you believe something within you, when you have seen it and you believe it, go through with it. Remember I said manifestation is a process, it's not a destination. So I want to hear from you and don't forget to comment, like and share. Please, your comment is very important. I am begging you, please, just drop a comment. It's, 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 I don't know how to say, but please, it's, it will help us grow. Okay. It will help us grow. It will help this video to reach other people. If you think that I've said one thing, even if it's a sentence that have impacted your life, please, I would like to hear your comment and let's help this channel grow. Thank you so much. I'll see you this time next week to conclude on the power of your mind and bye